My name is Courtney Schrock, and I'm doing a book review on We Were Tired of Living in a House by um, Liesl Moak Scorpin, and it was illustrated by Joe Cepeda. Um, it was published by G.P. Putin and Sons in 1969, and it has 30 pages. And this is a um, short story that's about three little kids, um, two boys and a girl, and they're tired of living in a house. So they pack a bag with sweaters, socks, and mittens, and um, they move to a tree. And they really like the tree because there's always a breeze and there's a bird that sings. Um, and they like the tree until they tumble out of it. So then they pack up their mitten, sweater, socks, and leaves, and they um, move to a pond. And they really like the pond, and they build a raft, um, and they float among the lily pads. But they don't like the pond anymore because they sink. And so they pack their sweater, socks, leaves, and frog, and they move to a cave. And they really like the cave, and they started exploring, and they hunted for blackberries. And um, they liked the cave until they met a big, scary bear. <laughs> and then... They packed up their sweaters, leaves, frogs, and stones, and they moved to the sea. And they really liked the sea. And they um, built a castle with towers and moats um, out of the sand. And they really liked it until the turn of the tide came and it destroyed their sand castle. So they packed up their bag with their leaves, gold, frogs, stones, and seashells, and they went back to live at home in their house. And they lived happily ever after. And that's the end. And um, I really liked the illustrations for each location where they um, would try to build their new home. It's like really in-depth and it's really good. And I like the characters and all the different places they go. And um, I like how they repeat in the story the stuff they bring with them from each location. And then they add something from that particular place. And I just really like the way it was written. And it's just a really cute short story and it's one of my favorites. But, um, yeah, that's it.